tiny crystals of ice and gas called methane hydride have been rising with the oil all along since the spill began. And here's what happened. When this dome was dropped, these tiny crystals started clinging to each other and to the sides of the dome inside. And gradually, they just built up so much that they clogged the entire nozzle here so that the oil could not be funneled out to the surface. So the question, obviously, that you would ask is, what are they? Well, this is what they are. A thousand feet or more beneath the ocean surface, molecules of water freeze like little cages, that's the amount in red, around each molecule of methane, creating this weird sort of slush called fire ice. And why do they call it that? Well, because, look, you actually can set this ablaze. The gas burns as the ice melts and releases it. That, Anderson, is the culprit that's stopping up this funnel from stopping this leak in the bottom of the ocean. So I understand they, they've considered using a smaller dome. How, how would that be any better? Well, it's an interesting question, Anderson. The reason it would be better, perhaps, a researcher from the Colorado School of Mines tells me it might allow them to focus a heat source right around here to prevent those crystals from connecting and clogging the spout. But fire ice is really a tricky thing. Vast beds of this stuff on the ocean floor can become highly volatile if either the pressure or the temperature equation is upset reverting to pure gas all at once and erupting up toward the surface. That means, for instance, if you had a ship right up here, you could have the gas coming up like this, and if it went to the top and was ignited, you could have a massive explosion up here. But there's another possibility, and that could even be worse. This is one of the theories of what happened in the original rig explosion, that they had a methane explosion like this. But just as bad, the surface could also become, as this gas was released, an unstable mass of water mixed with bubbles of gas. And it could become so unstable, no kidding, that a ship like this could simply be unable to float and be swallowed by the sea. Some scientists genuinely think this could be an explanation for those supposedly mysterious ship disappearances in the Bermuda Triangle, Angle Anderson. So there's another option we're hearing about called ju a junk shot. What's that? Yeah, the junk shot is the last possible option we're talking about here. To put it in really simple terms, what they're talking about doing is injecting some shredded rope, rubber, and other material into piping all around the wellhead at the bottom down. They're hoping to just dam it up. It's possible, but the oil is coming out underneath that water with more than 2,000 pounds of pressure, enough to lift a Mini Cooper. So putting a cork into that could be very tough, Anderson. All right, Tom, appreciate it. The oil slick has wiped out huge chunks of the Gulf Coast fishing industry.